Two high school girls are apologizing now for the racist and offensive rap they posted online two years ago. Fox 4's Melissa Cutler and Grapevine with the story. Melissa. Well, Steve, you know, this audio recording has been talked about so much at school that, dis that the district felt like it had to send a letter home to parents to address it. Now, it's about three and a half minutes long, but it is so vulgar and offensive, we can only play a very small part of it. Right. Thomas Simon attends Grapevine High School as a junior, where a racist rap song has been a big topic of discussion. Everybody is high giving their opinion. The rap was made two years ago in the summer of 2013 by two unnamed girls who point out in the song that they are white. According to the two apology letters they wrote, the song was recorded when they were 13 and 14 years old, freshmen at Grapevine High School, and uploaded to social media. It's been circulating among students ever since. I want to kill them that I want to hang them from a tree. A letter went home yesterday to parents, along with letters of apology from the girls addressing fellow classmates and the staff. The girls did not sign their names. One wrote, quote, I am deeply sorry for my actions. The song does not portray in any way how I actually feel about people. I understand the gravity of my actions and have learned from this experience. The second student had similar comments, quote, I have never been so utterly humiliated and ashamed in my entire life. I was 14 years old and ignorant of the words coming out of my mouth. I made a big mistake and I would do anything to take it back. Some parents are still fuming. Do I think it's rude? Yes. Do I think it's racist? Yes. Do I think they should do something to the girls? Yes. Thomas gives the girls the benefit of the doubt. And I don't think we can judge the student who made it based off one recording. She's a like really nice person. I had freshman geometry with her, and she was nothing like that in class. The Grapevine School District says it has been opening the channels of communication for students to talk, but it says it does not have legal authority over the situation because the recording was made off school grounds while school was not in session. Now, some students told us that the girl in question was not in school today. Steve, back to you. It's interesting. I, I guess the students know who, who these girls are. So what about the school? Does the school plan to do anything more, or is it done with this? Do we know? Well, no. Um, actually, the um, school says administrators have told us that uh, counselors have been brought in in case uh, students feel that they have a, a need to talk about it, to vent about it a little bit. Um, they also met with student leaders and they're discussing the possibility of bringing in some experts uh, on diversity to maybe put some programs on here at the school in order to uh, heal any open wounds that may have been caused by this incident. Okay. Melissa Cutler at Grapevine High School. Thank you.